Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Scorpios. This is a weekly reading for you all, my lovely. So let us start with your general energies first, guys, before we move on to your love energies, okay? So I'll be taking cards first for your general energies. And let's see what's coming up. We have the Hermit in Reverse. You guys might have had a situation where you were stuck with a person and all of that. But now it's ending. So you can stay happy because you're no longer under this person's control. Or you are no longer are like, what to say, waiting for this person. And no longer stuck. Okay, guys. I see the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. Maybe some of you are not following up what is say not following your intuition but it is all destined to happen but right now your life is full filled with fun people who are so funny and you're also kind of flirting with a lot of people you'll be also flirting this week or you are flirting the past week and the flirting will continue this week okay with the lovers in reverse you're not taking anyone any situation seriously anymore scorpios because you've had enough and People taught you a lot and you don't want to take any more. You don't want to take people serious anymore. That's what I see here. Even though you're in a committed relationship with a person or that person thinks that you're a committed relationship, you're actually not because you are like confused. Okay, you're confused like what you should actually do with your life. Okay. I also see here a lot of growth, a lot of opportunities coming your way. You will be enjoying this week. You will be having a good time this week. Okay, I also see here you're dreaming a lot. Some dreams might be so weird and it still shows what actually your subconscious is trying to tell you. So maintain a dream journal or something like that, Scorpios, if you get like weird dreams and all of that. Okay. You might be finding out some aspects of your character that you never knew that you had okay you might be frustrated because maybe you're frustrated about a lot of things like for for some of you you're frustrated because you think that you can make a wrong decision or you're frustrated because you don't want to make a wrong decision at any cost you just want to be a good decision maker and you don't want because of your decision you don't want to help i mean you don't want to hurt others instead just help others so the decisions that you're making is kind of crucial at that moment so you will be taking a lot of your time thinking about a lot of stuff before you actually decide on something stern okay you're always you don't know what you're doing you're always like really thinking a lot because you don't want to make a wrong decision at the same time you don't want to lose people around you making the long, wrong decision and that is kind of haunting you okay so that haunting energy is also like going to upgrade in a few days so make sure you make a good decision because you can't i don't know guys is in your hands but still you can't still protect everything right if you need to protect some things you should let go of some things and have trust on some things in your life so that's what i see here with the knight of swords someone might be rushing towards you someone's coming towards you fast you're dealing with a scorpio cancer pisces you're dealing with taurus virgo capricorn capricorn mostly Oh, Capricorn is kind of flirty and you're going to a Leo or a Pisces, okay? So you feel like you don't want to stay with people who are flirting with you. You feel somewhat uneasy to stay with people who are flirting with you, okay? That's what I see here. You feel kind of uneasy. So let's just take cards for your love energy, Scorpios, about your person, about you, okay? Like, I mean, your person's energies and your energies. Like, how are you actually thinking and feeling about this connection? So let's first take for your person's energies, okay? Who are your person?
they left you and they regret leaving you at that moment okay your person left you because you wanted a stern relationship and they didn't want a stern relationship but how are they feeling right now are they happy are they sad okay let's just find out guys your person left you because you wanted something stable this person couldn't give you something stable they felt it was too much responsibility for them to handle you so that's why they left okay and they felt you gave too much and they never could give you their love so that's why they left guys mostly because they didn't know your value they underestimated your value they didn't actually know how much you would mean to them and they really thought that they can get on with this leaving you and going to someone else they would find peace and happiness but what they really got is not so much like peace and happiness guys okay i don't think so what they got back is definitely not peace and happiness with these cards here okay okay so let me get back to the story so this person left you right now they're in this miserable space where they don't know and where they don't know what to do and even though they give a lot of love to people around them the people around them are not respecting them so whatever they did to you is just like a karmic thing happening to them okay so they're giving a lot and people around them are not respecting their feelings and yes your person is in this deep pain and this extreme pain they're like feeling it seriously okay your person is like really not in the mood now okay because they just had this karma backfire on them whatever they did to you is just happening to them and they're kind of struck by that energy and they're just like oh my god and they realize that they shouldn't have done this to you and they're thinking about how good you are to people how you how good you are to them and what they gave back in return that is really what to say really making this person feel suffocated this person really is feeling extreme pain and regret of doing whatever they did to you okay they feel guilty for treating you that way if they want if they would come to you if they see you somewhere they would just rush to you and they would just like apologize for whatever they did because they understand that how much it would hurt and how much they hurted you and they really want to apologize to you like wholeheartedly because i see your person is very genuine your person is very what to say the energy is very good and genuine okay so that's what i see here guys scorpios your person is feeling extreme pain here is because they genuinely regret doing whatever they did to you and if you would accept them back into the, your lives they would come back to you okay because they're done uh, facing this situation with you maybe you were friends once and then friendship slowly turn into a love situation or first you were not lovers okay first i see a friend situation going on so this person would come back to you as a friend and slowly gradually again make you as their loved one so that may be the scenario for some of you scorpios so let me also find out i also see here that the cycle is not ending with your cards you know that this person will come back to you because we have the world card in reverse world card upright means a cycle ending a karmic cycle ending but here it is in reverse so that means the cycle is not yet ending okay so this person left you and they went and still this cycle is not ending okay so maybe they're spying on you they're still attached to you guys okay they might be not showing that they might be not posting pictures on social media they might not be like uh showing that to people that they still uh, want you and all of that but they're still attached to you okay they still have to make a decision because they're stuck between two energies but yes they are attached to you they would love to give you this offer they're spying on you nowadays and they see you as this grown person who's just emotionally stable and who's just happy and all of that maybe you scorpius are posting uh, things on social media and like kind of happy energy you're like having this positivity around you and all of that so your person observes all that positivity okay and they're like 
if you're happy then i don't think i need to come into your life so they think like that guys okay your person is also uh knows that you're happy and you're growing and they regret for whatever they did they would probably want to come towards you but at the same time they don't know what to do okay they want to come but they are kind of in this guilt feeling still so after they come out of this guilt feeling maybe they will guys so this is all i have for you all my lovely scorpios thank you all so much for watching guys your lucky color for this week my lovely scorpios is orange and your lucky crystal for this week is malachite bye guys see you all tomorrow